Welcome back. Hello, it's me, Ati. Hello, hello, hello. Um, we're gonna continue. If you guys haven't seen part one yet, I basically I'm uploading them all in chapters. So it's very long videos, but you know, grab a snack, grab something to drink, grab dinner if you eat dinner and watch videos. Like, be cozy. Um, grab a blanket. Yeah long videos but I will link chapter one uh, down below and I card stuff you know the YouTube stuff that I don't know what I'm doing uh, and we're just gonna jump into chapter two let's do it I'm excited I really love chapter one as you can probably see from my reactions from it so let's let's just jump into it lanterns let's go Oh. I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before until he came along he cared so much about my admissions essay even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, <laughs> that's why the K is silent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then the fifth time he cared about everyone my heart he was the kind of guy you wanted to be around he was a world class bullshitter he was my best friend say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger I'm getting goosebumps but he left it as family <clears throat> guess that's that then what happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. I agree. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. Did he do it? You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister. Alex heard the whole thing. He's right. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. 
I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about and, uh, we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son... When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying. Pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. And maybe the call got dropped. Oh, shit, I mean, it's not like... It's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Right, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, and... Dad. This little oh, weasel's no. calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure. I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just trying... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. <sighs> That's intense. Oh, Jesus. Why not That's you? It. Rope's over. Everyone out. <sighs> Poor Alex. Even I got stressed from that. Alex? Steph. I like Steph. Like, she was scary in the start because she was mad, but... She seems to care. Hey. Fuck those guys. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Um... No. God, no. I'm a fucking wreck. It's not your job to keep it together. Yes, I agree. Thanks. Do you... Um... It's messy, but... Do you want to come in? Yeah. Sure. Let's talk to her. I like her. Let's see. You play guitar? Mm-hmm. Uh, that was a gift. Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store. To make me laugh. Never worked. <laughs> Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. <laughs> G 
Abe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. Aww. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Same. We took this a year ago. We... No way. I can't. What? We actually kept it. No, we're just crying. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. We gotta feel her. Living off these is <laughs> not great. But it's better than leaving the apartment. Oh, she's not leaving the apartment? I mean, I didn't either. And I lost somebody. So. Let's see. Oh. That is very strong emotions of sadness. And the record player? Now I can find out what's really going on with Steph. Let's try this one first. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! <laughs> Their guitarist has one arm! Badass! <laughs> Don't shit on my yard! Wait, what? Okay. Is there anything else? No, then it's... Oh, wait, 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 there is more. Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. <laughs> and I'll be crashing here tonight. What's about this? Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. Wait, did they do a bet? Like, whoever won? Like, if if uh, Gabe won, she had to stay in the town. If she won, she could leave or something like that? Ooh, fascinating. Let's see. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. Okay, so I was correct. And he won, and that's how she chose to stay here. And that was she was getting emotional about because she he kept the trophy that he made. Why is it wet right there? Is the rain coming through or something like that? It looks wet right there. I'll stop. <laughs> I need to find out why Steph is so upset. Her sadness is so strong. I hope I can help. Steph? Sorry. This is so embarrassing. I just need some time. Okay. Well, the thing is, I've already figured out why she is upset. Strong emotions 
from what I could understand, came from the foosball table. And the fact that... These auras around the apartment should tell me what's going on. But I've already... I've already locked the game. Now you're being dumb. Something more I can do with it? Wait, wait. Hear me out. Yeah. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. See that? Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. I've already. Wait, is there one more thing over there? <gasps> there is sneaky. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? I think I know enough to help her now. Okay, so she was planning to move to Denver. So he then decided to play her, um, to make her stay because he wanted her to stay. And that's how she stayed. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Well, then it's understandable that she is, like, emotional about it because, like, she clearly likes it here. She's having a good time. Um, so it's, of course, like an emotional memory, you know? So yeah, let's help her. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. Start with the drink, maybe? Can I get you a drink or anything? No, thanks. I appreciate the offer, though. Oh, I thought she was gonna sure, talk about the drink. I'm dumb. That wasn't right. I thought... I thought you were gonna talk about... How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? Had a hunch. I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. Come on. Fine. I suck at foosball. Like, I've tried, and I suck at it. First to five points? If you say so. <laughs> I gotta play! <gasps> oh god, oh god. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm. Oh god. I suck at this. You were in a band, right? I don't get it. Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too Why long. Why is F here? Gotcha. Why is it F? Why is it F? Oh, I got it. I got it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I almost feel like I should let her win, though. Shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I should have let her win. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No, I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? I 
Oh, Alex, I feel like you were mean there. I would have never said that. I would have... <laughs> okay, okay. Joking aside, playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. You're on. Huh? I feel like I should let her win. I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focused. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. I I kind of want to let her win. I just feel a fan of all time. Go. I feel. Bad. Are you trying to distract me? Well, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. one more game I don't know oh, come on you know Gabe would never let a tie stand well then it's settled <laughs> this is it for all the marbles so many marbles definitely the kind of game you want to focus on no matter what happens totally. <laughs> So are you into girls or what? Huh? Both! <laughs> I'll date anybody. Assuming they're my type. <laughs> What's your type? I'll let you know when I meet them. Ah, you can't ask me that and expect me to focus on a game. I just noticed I can be I, I can be a pet sexual in this game. I feel happy. This is what? Oh my god. What? What? Fuck. <laughs> I knew it. How old are you exactly? Old enough to know better. I suck at this game. Good oh, job, Steph. Fucking finally! House of Chen crumbles at last. <laughs> I like her. She's cute. Good game. Thank you. You're a much better loser than Gabe. That's no fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to spoil the victory. <sighs> I feel like she should have it. It has so sentimental what value do you do now. What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? Agreed. Definitely a liar. No question. I knew he was a jerk, but this is another level. I think I need to prove that he's lying. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. Can I start dating her in the game? Wait, is she already taken? I should head back to work. Cool. But I can be bisexual. I can be bisexual. I'm so happy. Great game. 10 out of 10. Bye. Tension? Bye. Some, some tension there? I know Gabe made that call, but did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? Mm, I feel like there are two things that could have happened. Either one, it is true, Mac lied, he actually let the blast off and then accidentally, accidentally killed off Gabe. Or two, there was another person who got the call and didn't inform him, which is why he got anxious, because he got the purple aura, which is anxious. So either he's anxious because he got caught, or he's anxious because he actually didn't get the call. Uh, there is one or two scenarios. I don't know which one yet, 
uh, because I don't want to think anyone would purposefully murder somebody. I think there is like something else. Like somebody else got the phone call um, and they are basically the reason for Gabe's death and we, we're gonna try and figure that out eventually. I think that's it, but like I said, there is two options. I don't know if there's more, but that's my theory. I think there is somebody else at hand here. Okay, let's see what we can do. I never got to see bartender Gabe in action, but he left some pretty big shoes to fill. Aww. Dirty clothes. Getting dressed shouldn't be so hard. And yet. I can go upstairs. <gasps> I can clean first. You know? Clean your clothes, kids. Still very See? messy. I can be a person. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. I can still go upstairs, which is Good. <laughs> hey, Shushu. Thanks for sticking around. There's so many clothes all around. To be fair, though, it's understandable. Why are dishes always the first thing to slip when your life falls apart? Yes, this is very true. I feel like it's dishes, then it's clothes on the floor. Then it is hygiene. And I know a lot of people think this is fucking disgusting because I saw that on Twitter and it pissed me off. But when, if you're properly depressed, and I mean after you lost someone or if you just generally struggle with depression, just brushing your teeth can be like the hardest thing in the entire world. Like that's just how it is. Um, and a lot of people don't, don't seem to understand that. Like taking a shower can be hard. Uh, brushing your teeth can be hard keeping things clean like this is a very normal grieving process in my opinion so but we're gonna clean it <laughs> because she needs to get back on her feet and first step to getting back on your feet is to get everything around you clean and properly looking so that the stress is a bit weighted off it's a start it is a start indeed alex that's just what i talked about not much to toast at the moment. Nope. Okay. That did make me feel a little better. See? Because I know I feel a lot better um, if, let's say, the bathroom is a bit cleaner. Um, and with by bathroom, I mean, like, clothes aren't all around, makeup isn't all around, makeup brushes is all over. Like, I feel generally, like, a lot better once I've cleaned it. Even though it's very hard to clean. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Living off these is not great. Nope. But it's better than leaving the apartment. Let's clean it up. So long, depression food. Depression food indeed. I'm one of those if I'm very sad, I can't eat. Clean home, clean mind. Right, Dr. Lin? Yes, clean home, clean mind. I also have the issue of, uh, and I don't know if anyone else have this, but if my head is a mess, like if I feel like it's very messy in my head, uh, I purposefully make it messy around me to match my head. Um, so the cleaner place, cleaner mind thing really like hits home for me because I purposefully do that. Like if I feel like a mess or I feel very, very stressed or anxious or depressed, I purposefully don't clean anything. Um, like subconsciously purposefully, you know, like I am aware I'm not doing it. But at the same time, I can't physically do it because I'm like, it has to match what's inside here. If it's messy here, it has to be messy around me because it gotta match. And that's also how Nicholas noticed if I'm if I'm like sad or stressed or anything. He's like, you you just you just threw your flannel on the floor. What's up? <laughs> so this is like a get to know Atty thing <laughs> at this point. Cape really meant the world to Steph. Understandably so. One of the happiest memories I have. Thanks, Cape. Snowboard! Would have been fun to see Gabe crush some sweet powder. Or whatever snowboarders say. Yeah. 
I haven't been upstairs. I'm curious. As usual. I'm very curious. I really like how this is going so far. I think it's... Oh, this is the upstairs. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Understand. Wind spinner. Ooh, pretty. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. <laughs> ah, so this is the upstairs. Oh, that's so pretty. I want to live here. If I ever become, like, rich or something like that, I'm gonna live like in a place like this. I don't like the city. I currently live in the city and I can't sleep because there's too many noises around me. I much rather prefer like mountain areas where people are like quiet and cozy and there isn't as many cars and the sirens all around and stuff. I'll toss those soon, I swear. Ah, understandable that you don't want to. Toss no it. birds today. No birds today. But what do you guys think is happening? Ooh, there's memories right there. But what do you guys think is happening? Like, if you play the game, please don't spoil anything in the comment section, of course. But, like, what are you th your theories? Uh, if you haven't played the game, or if you have played it and you go back to, like, this moment, what were your theories at the time? Like, do you think Mike did it? Or don't? I bet Gabe could even make golf fun. <laughs> Most likely. He seems like such a good guy. I'm very sad. I, I would have loved to see his character a bit more. This thing's been up here a while. Isn't that Steph's old van? Drugstore makeup? You could stay here too. I wouldn't try to stop you. Yeah, good. I'll be the only trans person in a town with a population of like four. That sounds like a blast for me. Thanks for not trying to stop me. I'm sorry, Izzy. It's not you. And it's not the band. I fucking love that shit. But I need to try this. It's just... time for something new. I knew it. I knew this would happen eventually. Fucking... See you around, Steph. Oh, Izzy sounds so sad. She sounds so sad. Wish I could give her a hug. It's probably not like... I know it's not easy to say goodbye to your friends. Like, I moved uh, to Denmark from Norway. Uh, and when I had to say goodbye to my friends, like... There probably was some, like, tiny resentment in there. Like, a, a bit of, like, why... Why did you fucking choose to do this? So I, I can understand. A lot. Gabe was such a dad. <laughs> yep. Gabe really loved this place. Aww. Sun and moon? Why look up at the sky when you could look at a sculpture instead? Well, you shouldn't look directly into the sun, though, so I mean. We should have gotten so many more sunsets. Yeah. I really wonder if I could have prevented his death somehow. I don't think I could have, but I'm really wondering if I could. I thought this was going to be the one. Finally, despite all the disappointments, I really let myself believe. Oh, I'm sorry, Alex. I believed you completely. I let myself hope, really hope, for the first time in years. Even after I freaked out in front of you and hit you, you didn't push me away. You sat right there and told me that I wasn't broken, that I was special, and I belonged. Then you died, and I don't know what to believe now, except you're gone again, and I'm still here, alone. Oh, my heart. I'm trying not to cry. This is it. Uh, just hits like the heartstrings, you know. I 
would have been crying a lot more if I was her. Okay, probably not. When things happen, I don't cry that much. Like, I kind of go into shock mode and it's like, can't feel emotions. Which also is a very valid way of experiencing things. Such a cute apartment though. I would live here. that <laughs> new game eat <laughs> uh fuck i just got him back how can he be gone yeah that's so upsetting that is so upsetting the kind of person who got that worked up over a college essay could be capable of almost anything <laughs> yep feels like a million years since that day with gabe hasn't even been a week. Yeah, it's insane. Oh, okay, I've done that. This is so sad. Like, god damn it. Cape really meant the world to Steph. Mm. Gabe used to swap the controller out of my hands if he thought I was going to beat him. <laughs> that is a sore loser. Thank god for this thing. We'd never have found Ethan without it. True. I really wonder if I'd told at first if that would have saved him. At least I got to have a few good moments. Yeah, that's true. That's very, very true. I wonder how she's really holding up. Oh, yeah. She is probably not doing too good, not gonna lie. I could probably use a little more practice. <laughs> okay, I think I've looked at everything in here, so let's just go outside and see what we can we can do. I'm gonna try not to play that. Oh, notes. Notes, notes, notes. Uh, Alex, I'm having a small event for your brother tomorrow at 9. I'd love for you, love to have you there. But no pressure, okay? Just take all the time you need. There's no greater meeting than meeting over drinks. Alex, let me know if you need any groceries. I'll cover the cost. Put eyes on alcohol at your own risk. Thanks, Jed. I'm so sorry. Apartment's yours for as long as you need. You know where to find me if anything comes up. Tip your bartender if you can't. Maybe you've had too much. Jed seems so incredibly nice. Like, he seems so kind. Like, he's just like, oh, you, you can stay here for as long as you want. I don't know... I don't think I know of anyone who is like that IRL, to be completely honest. Except my friends, of course, but like... If I just had gotten to somewhere, I don't think like more of a stranger would have done that. Because let's be real, they are kind of strangers. She hasn't been in for that long, it's not even been a week. Yeah, this kind of got into a mess, huh? Whew, okay. Things got pretty heated back there. Yep, let's pick it up. Let's help Jed out. Like, he's being so kind. That's the least we can do. Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Oh, hey, Jed. Jed. Wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. True. No, there's no good version. 
Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. It wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Aww. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. Thank you. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Noted. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Like, the thing is, you should never, like, put all of your faith into one person regardless. Sometimes you don't never get closure. And it's a harsh reality. <laughs> Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty hairy, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. Thank you. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. Oh, he's so kind. What about rent? What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. He's so kind. Thank you. I want to give him a hug. He's like a teddy bear. Give him hell. <laughs> give him hell. I adore him. I, I have no idea what to even say to him. Oh yeah, that was terrible. You shouldn't have seen that. I know you're going through a lot, but can we talk? I know it's asking a lot, but I really need to talk to you. Uh, oh, Jed said, hiring a small service. Uh, I get to join a pressure. Oh, I'll be done, so you're glad to hear it. Riley said, I'm so sorry. Please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Steph said, sorry I had to run like a crazy person. Excited to meet you for real. Hey, um, okay, that was later. Hey, it's Steph. Uh, I'm so sorry. I love Gabe. I can only imagine what you're going through. Please call me if you need anything. There, Alex. It was a very pressure meeting you this evening. I hope you find a welcoming home here in Haven. Uh, that was very sweet. Ducky is sweet. Uh, Alex, I'm so sorry. You don't have to respond. I just want to tell you. Thank you for saving Ethan's lives. I don't know what I would do if I lost him. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. Oh, this is so sad. Okay, my block. Um, long lost dog. Uh, first part is to finish the lyrics. Haven has an indie movie theater. Wait, really? Impressive. Okay, yeah, that is impressive. Good job. Fuck you, mining. All the neighbors that changed their relationship started. Riley is now single. Hey, Let's go, Riley! Get out of that toxic relationship. You go, girl. Uh, how to you, Alex? Glad to finally have you, Alex. I Time feel sick. A shock and sad terror about Gabe Chen's death. Such loss of life is always tragic and affects many in our community. We would like to take this time to assure the community that Typhoon remains committed, as always, to following the strictest safest pra practices in the industry. Your community is our community, and we will cooperate with any and all law enforcement investigations until this matter can be properly laid to rest. I like how they have disabled replies. They probably know that they're going to get called out. Uh, in all the darkness that surrounds the death of a loved one, I think it's important to remember the good times. I want to share one of my favorite memories of, of Gabe. 
Uh, I just sold him up a K and he admitted that he'd put his foot in his mouth again with his girlfriend and needed to make up, uh, make it up to her. I sent him on his way with some lovely tulips, but 15 minutes later, there he was again. I asked Charlotte if I could have her tulips in exchange for these tulips and now I'm back. <laughs> you know what? That's a good pun. He, he tried. He tried. He tried to lighten the mood. Uh, anyone got a good handyman? We can't seem to have any hot water to the upstairs shower. Ah, okay. The Gunnison County Sheriff's Department is working hard to serve and protect citizens of Haven Springs. If you have any questions, concerns, or would like to report a crime of vandalism, you can contact us on the phone through the website or by speaking to a deputy. When will the hiking trails be open again? The trails are closed because it's packed of an active investigation. Can't we just put this to bed? He wasn't when he shouldn't have been, shit happens. What the fuck? Oh my god. Yeah, this makes sense. The, that they want to take some day off. This is the... awake. Riley said, Gabe was the most caring person I've ever met. He never stopped looking for ways to make life better, whether that meant coming to Haven to find his dad or, or fighting to get a grail all the way up the stairs to his rooftop. And he was never willing to help anyone. And he was always willing to help anyone else who wanted to improve their lives. He probably put even more hours into my college interview than I did. He was the kind of person you meet once in a lifetime. Goodbye, Gabe. I'll miss you forever. So sad. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see here. Uh, Ethan Fair. So this is basically the recap of what happened in the last chapter. Uh, Ethan Fair. It's so easy for your brain to turn on you, the same part of you that tells stories and make art and gives the world order and beauty and meaning is the part where nightmares grow. And sometimes those nightmares leak out, seep into the world around you. I can still see Ethan's, Ethan collapsing in, his, in on himself at the edge of that ravine, so scared that he couldn't move, couldn't breathe. I reached out because I had to reach out. I submitted to his fear because I couldn't think of any other way forward. None of it will save me. Ninth Warden wouldn't be afraid. I thought I could hunt the monster. I uh, thought I could hunt it. Thought I could be brave. Nothing can save you. There's nothing to save. And it worked. We made it back and I collapsed on the hard soil ground. And I kept thinking, this is who you can be. If you want to be someone who helps people. Someone who understands. For a few seconds, everything was so clear. But then the ground wasn't solid anymore and Gabe was gone. What good am I to anyone if I couldn't stop that? Well, nobody can stop a freaking, like, explosion and, uh, like, things running down. Don't blame that on yourself, Alex, please. Steph's sorrow. Uh, Steph's sadness was born out of love. It wasn't empty. There was dimension to it. A form and a volume of loss that I could uh, step inside. In there, I met a Gabe who felt much like my own, only more so, and in... A listener, a prodder, a cheerleader, a shit stirrer, a brother basically. It wasn't long, but it was enough to know exactly what Steph needed. The best piece of my brother I could conjure for her from thin air for just a moment. So we played foosball, and for once, Steph got to win. <laughs> it was dumb and goofy and uh, over in a flash, but in its wake, the sadness was lifted, and Gabe didn't seem quite as gone as before. Foosball champion, don't shit on my yard. I'll be crashing here tonight. Move to Denver, one more game. Uh, first Ethan, now Steph. I think I'm finally starting to understand this thing. Gabe was right. It is a gift to connect to someone, to feel what they are feeling, to help them. Just wish he'd been around to tell me earlier. I want to make things right. I don't want to fight. So I'll be crashing here tonight. Don't turn out the lights. Oh, that's cute. I'm sorry if it's a lot of reading, by the way, but 
that's kind of is like with these games. So I hope my phone, my phone, I read phone and said phone. I hope my voice isn't too annoying for you guys. Wall of shame. I bet Gabe would be up here a lot if he wasn't the one taking the pictures. True. Class. Gabe would have appreciated having beer at his wake. <laughs> I should put something here. It's the least I can do. I wish we'd had more time. I wish so too. Uh, ticket? Gabe Chen. Smooth <laughs> criminal. Wait, what did you do? Uh, he was speeding on a bicycle? God damn it. They must have been close. Poor Ethan. Aww. Oh no, it's hideous. <laughs> Courtesy of Haven's favorite DJ, I bet. Yeah. I hope Ducky didn't finish this by himself. <laughs> uh, I don't think I have anything. Maybe to put I can here. find something upstairs to put on the memory table. I wanna get something before we leave. If I actually. never saw mining equipment ever again, it'd be too soon. Understandable. Guess nobody needed this. Forecast called for rain, but the skies have been clear. I had an incredible mom, and I decided I wanted to be a ranger. She was the first person I told. She said, she said, you're exactly what these mountains need. Oh, damn. Bye, mom. <laughs> Ducky wins a lot. Would have been fun to let Gabe kick my ass at pool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so sad. They could have done so many things. Why do I feel like this is a challenge? Yeah, it looks like a hot sauce challenge. I'll spend the rest of my life wondering what would have happened if Ryan hadn't cut that rope. Mm. I bet he will too. I'm really wondering that. Like, what would have happened if he just didn't cut the rope? Like, what if they actually tried to get him up properly? Or at least hold on to him? Would he have just been, like... Like, dead? Would he have been gone? Like, you would have hosted him up and he would have been dead? Or could, could there have been a chance to save him? That's basically what I'm questioning. Wonder what I can find up here to add to Gabe's memory table. Yeah, let's find something. We need to find something. Uh, well, photos could be one. You have basically two photos. Maybe I should put this downstairs. Mm, either photo, I feel, or... I could add this to Gabe's table. Yeah, add that. Because mm. I think those are the two things that like has sentimental like value here. Um. Hmm. I am very torn because it's either like a photo but I feel like that's also too like close. So maybe the music, because I like people put, uh, like their drink, and stuff, right? Okay, so what I'm thinking is that because of other people putting like, um, more like drumsticks, the drink, the um. The, the speeding ticket I think the there's got to be something the record up here with sentimental value I think the record because I don't want to be the other one out this is perfect for the memory table 
Yeah. I'm I'm thinking the record. Okay. Uh, can I bring both? I'm I'm gonna stick with the record. I'm gonna stick with it. I feel like the record is the smarter choice. Cause up there there's only like cans. And I don't know, I don't feel like empty cans is a good one. I don't know which one would be the perfect one. Tell me your opinions. I wanna know. Glad I have something to add to Gabe's table. Let's add. And then we can leave. I'm getting a bit comfy. Don't mind me. I think that's perfect. No one could blame me for wanting to drink all my sorrows away. Nope, I will not. I've only known Jed a few days. But he's got my back better than any care worker ever did. Yep. Carving? R, M, and T, B. I wonder who they were. Huh. Family photo. Skull? Jed definitely has a decorating style. I'd call it steakhouse chic. Yes. Okay, let's go outside. Uh, so I want to meet up with Charlotte. I want to see if I can ca can get a hold of Ryan. Uh, and then we have to look for Mac. I hope we can do all those three things. Because I want to do all the three things. Oh, that looks so cozy. Can I live here? Okay. Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop but I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. Oh. Uh, I'm cooking up a new adventure for Haven. DM me if you want to get involved. You do. Huh? Uh, a year ago, I was in a, I was ready to ditch this place to keep moving like I always do. And a year ago, Gabe was the reason I stayed. But even though he's gone, and even though I miss him like hell, I still have reasons to stay. Thanks for showing me that, Alex. Even if your fool spawns and skills could use some work. <laughs> Mac Lana's lead the dirt comment. Fucking douche canoe. Okay, let's see. Steph said, uh, Hey, do you have a sex to swing by the store? Maybe what's up? Nothing big. I'll tell you when you get there. Charlotte said, can you come by the dispensary sometimes? I think I need your advice. Sure thing. Yeah. Um, we need to get to the dispensary. Um, I don't know where the dispensary is. On one hand, there's the open road and the freedom to run away from my problems. On the other, helmet hair. <laughs> helmet hair? Is it on the news? I wonder how many fish Ducky's caught in this thing. So cozy. What's this? I probably shouldn't sit. I don't really have time. I, I want to do so many things. I want to see the scenery. want to stay here without Gabe. Oh. In this state I've never been to before. This town I've been in for less than a week. Oh, that's so pretty. That is Not so that I know where else I'd even go. Back to the nothing waiting for me in Portland. I feel that. It's so pretty. So pretty. If it wasn't recording, I would have probably sat here and just stared at it for about... Two hours. <laughs> okay, let's see. We need to go to the dispensary. Dispensary. It's a very weird thing to, to say. Black lantern, mining cart. Okay, 
This is probably the most haven thing I've seen yet. Yep. Not sure when the words Gabe Chen and Wake will stop being weird. But now isn't it? Oh. So sad. Uh, oh. Gabe was too young. Just too young. Bet Pike's really had his work cut out for him these last few days. Hey, Pike. Hello. Hey. Um, how you holding up? I've been better. Guess I've been better. <laughs> yeah, right. Dumb question. There's no dumb questions. Hey, I want you to know I meant what I said back there. Gabe was something else. He could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. Yeah, that's what everyone's been saying. And, uh, when you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. I'll be ready soon. I think I'll be ready soon. Yeah. Yeah. No rush. Yeah, I feel this a bit much right now. Like, we're still trying to figure out um, what Max deal is. What flowers? Insert epiphany about new beginnings here. This. I love her attitude. She's just. She doesn't take shit from anyone. And I adore that. With all of my heart. She's just like. Flowers. New beginnings. Frick off. Nice to know. Hipsters can survive at this altitude. <laughs> it's bullshit. We have a right to know what's happening to our jobs. I can type them eight years of my life, and they can't give me back one simple answer about my job. Typhon doesn't give a shit about anyone. Yeah, I don't feel like they really care about what happened. Like, somebody fucking died. Head I just hope the council pet. Nothing says festive, like three exclamation points. I feel call out because I usually use three. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. I might be too close to the issue to have an unbiased opinion, but fuck this. I don't... Yeah, probably fuck that. <laughs> so, anyone seen Loudon? Not since his ship that night. Poor son of a bitch. <laughs> we should get him a beer sometime. Hmm. Where's the dispensary? Where is that? Wind chimes. The original jam band. Heck yes! One doctor had me try meditation. I always just fell asleep. I have always gotten recommended meditation and yoga for everything I've ever struggled with. It doesn't work for me, and people don't seem to notice that. <laughs> like, I even say straight up, like, hey, meditation and yoga doesn't work for me, and everyone is like, but have you tried it, though? I'm like, I've tried, like, probably 60 apps to help with it, and YouTube videos. <laughs> Sorry about today. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed uh, said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Wait, what? Sure. I have a problem. Man, can't you take a hint? She's not into you. Let it go. That's rough. That is very rough. Can if I tell him I like him, we'll date. And then we'll break up. And then I'll lose my best friend. Hmm. Maybe I could help them. Wait, hell no. What am I thinking? This is none of my business. Yeah, I usually grab a bite with Katie. You should come. Oh, I... <laughs> Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. I know, let me talk. So this is like an often issue, I feel like. 
Like, I was feeling the same thing before I started dating Nicholas. I was like, I'm gonna lose, like, one of my bestest friends if I start dating him. I'm still terrified of that, by the way. It's a very normal fair. Oh, that's so pretty. Have any of you seen Northern Lights? I grew up with them. Guess they didn't feel like painting the mine. So. I'm very used to it. I want to say hi to Riley. I want to see how she's feeling. Anxious? If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. Yeah. Hey, Riley. Hello? What do you know? Alex. Hey. Um... Gabe? I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him. So much. He was like an older brother to me. Oh, sweetheart. I'm glad he had you. I'm glad he had you. Thank you, Alex. Really. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of him, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. You think Mac is telling the truth? Do you think he's telling the truth about the call? That Gabe never made it? No, I... I it's not that... I... Sorry. I'm really not ready to talk about it. Yeah, I get it. It's just, if he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting, so why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. What? But he just looked so guilty. I told him no, and that we were done. And now, I'm scared he did something horrible. He was acting incredibly Riley. guilty. Thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. Thank you. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. Aww. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. <laughs> I think she just wants me to end up happy. That's sweet. That's, That's really sweet. sweet. She's the most selfless person I know. She's lucky to have you. Thanks. Okay, you gotta go. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. Okay, so he's acting guilty as sh We'll talk Frick. soon? Of course. Yeah. Whenever you want. We'll talk soon. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. You've said that six times now, Alex. Jesus Christ. Oh, sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, 
but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Hmm. Let's see what Charlotte wants. Charlotte? Alex? Hey. Judd said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I'm staying busy, I guess? Not really. I'm okay. I'm okay. Keeping my chin up. Sometimes that's all you can do. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. I hear he's been having a rough time. He practically just lost father. He's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. I feel like Ethan might be blaming himself in all of this. Uh, because I know I would do that. I have done that before. I have a story. If you ever want to hear it, just ask me about it on stream. Um, but I have a story about a dog that died and I felt so guilty about that and still to this day I feel like that's my fault. So I have a feeling that um, Ethan probably feels like this is his fault. Like if he didn't go through the mines this wouldn't have happened. If he had just told him it wouldn't have happened, uh, etc. Like I feel like he's in that mindset and it's not easy to say that to a parent at all. So. Stay strong. You'll get through the hard parts. Both of you. Easier said than done, huh? Yep. Yeah. No shit. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death... ...is Gabe. I get that. What is this? An affidavit. From Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges. In exchange for a payment. A big one. That's shady. That's so shady. Why would they be offering you money if they didn't do anything wrong? They say it's an offer of good faith. But you're right. He's dead because of them. And I'd be letting them off. Are you gonna sign it? No. I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you... Think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? Fuck! <laughs> Cause in one hand, I'm like, well, Ethan is alive, he needs like a good life and everything, he needs to be good and well off which they probably still are to be fair uh you don't need like a shit ton of money but on the other hand there might have been a fucking murder here uh probably there is a murder here there's not even a probably there is clearly a murder here um i'm gonna go with my gut i'm gonna say turn it turn the offer down 
I don't feel like it's right when there's like a criminal investigation going on to be like, I'm gonna take this big son of mon sum of money so I don't press charges. Because he died. A life was lost. A dad was lost. A brother was lost. A boyfriend was lost. I'm gonna turn down. I don't think you should sign it. I'm sorry. I know it's hard. But you can't let Typhon buy you off. Gabe made that call, and I'm gonna prove it. I just, I need some time. Thanks for being honest. Honesty is key. If they're willing to pay Charlotte to keep quiet, they're definitely hiding something. Yep. I really, glass pipes are so cool. They're like, <laughs> Works of art that can also get you. <laughs> you know, she made those, right? Of course, she's right. But I could really use that money. We can't give in, no matter how hard it is. The thing is, if she really wants that money that bad and she doesn't give a fuck about her boyfriend just dying, fair, take the stupid money then, but I at least care. I, I. <sighs> Oh, I hate when it's talk about money. I hate that the world revolves around money. Probably cost more than my bus ticket. Most likely. Sweet logo. Bet Charlotte designed it herself. God, put some clothes on. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's like weed stuff. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not interested in that stuff. It blows my like, mind I'm sorry. that Charlotte's been running the dispensary this whole time. I couldn't even leave the apartment. Like, where I'm from, it's not legal. It's, it's not... Why did you start needing a PhD to smoke pot? <laughs> like, Stairway I... to Haven? Believe it or not, Gabe named that one. Oh, oh my god. I believe it. Uh, but yeah, like, I, I don't really care about that stuff. Like, it's illegal here. In Scandinavia, it's not allowed, it's looked frowned upon, uh, it's actually like a drug here, like, so I, I don't, I don't care. I, I kind of get uncomfortable coming into the talk of weed and stuff. I know it's legal some places, and if it's legal where you are and you do it, hats off to you, have fun with it. I just find it uncomfortable <laughs> because I am so like bammed into the head that it's illegal because it still is, and it's probably going to be illegal for quite a while. At least where I live. Uh. <laughs> same person, same brain. <laughs> Swear to God. That's a Zemi. In the Dominican, they're said to house the spirits of gods. Ah. Mostly, I just like how it looks. It's really cool. I really love Charlotte's style. Yeah, that's pretty. See, Harmon. Cactus. There's something you don't see in Portland. <laughs> Cacti? Valid? Charlotte's dedication to her art is so inspiring. Damn. There's nothing quite like a cup of weed on a cold day. Yeah, that's confusing. These bougie dispensaries are gonna put all the creepy dudes named Jean out of business. <laughs> Wait, what? Gummies? Man, these things better do the trick. I'm averaging like three hours a night. Pro tip, insomnia doesn't usually come from nowhere, and THC is way better at treating it when you're also tackling the underlying cause. Any idea what's keeping you up? I hope these helped a little, Gabe. Probably did. I don't know. Like I said, eh. <laughs> and which part of the brain is responsible for the crazy glowy feelies? Yes. The only part I know about the brain is that you have an animal brain, which is fight, flight, or freeze. And that kicks in when your normal brain doesn't know what to do. See, I know some stuff. 
I have something working in here. Bulletin board? I could totally paint that. I just don't want to. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> that looks so cool, These though. These are my kind of discounts. A little steep. But can you really put a price on a kid's dreams? Oh, uh, yeah, a thousand? I don't know about a thousand dollars, but it's pretty cool. Nice contribution, Gabe. <laughs> Gabe was here! Same. Ooh, a plaque. And he did it all with one rusty saw and a bottle of gin. <laughs> Impressive. Uh, built in 1919, the... Wheel Feather Sanatorium opened successfully under its closing in 1927 under the guidance of Dr. Martin Kellogg. Over 500 influenza and tuberculosis patients were treated and cured. Okay. Wonder what it's like to have I do my drugs out of a glass sculpture type of money. <laughs> sure. Sure, sure, sure. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. She's a bit sus. That's the warning. It's fine. I love being on hold. I love this song. Yikes. Ah. No, I, I said cancel. I have to imagine Gabe would be amused to know he made it in the newspaper. <laughs> Uh, cancel. Not transfer. Cancel. cancel. Oh, it's that guy's sister. I feel so bad for her. Getting sick of people feeling bad for me. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. I mean, I think I have time. I think I got some time. I want to like experience everything. Like that's the thing about these games. Let's see what she wants. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. Yeah, she got to be here somewhere. Oh, hey Valkyrie. Val. I just want to be friends. <laughs> Helpful. 10 or maybe 15. Fair. Looks like Steph might be working on a new project. Looks like it. He said? Why did Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. It's hard to beat breakup music. But maybe I can find something around here to cheer him up. Mm. Ninth Warden's cool, but not as cool as Thanor. The breakup section, huh? That's rough, buddy. Yep. My deck could maybe find something to help him? Right? How could Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. It's hard to beat breakup music. But maybe I can find something around here to cheer him up. So get the display then. I hope we all get to see more adventures yeah. of Thanor. Uh, hold list. I can't believe he ordered that record. Fuck. <laughs> Radio booth. Steph is in there. Okay. I want to see if I can help him. I haven't listened to Firewalk in a while. I like their old stuff better anyway. Like, how can I help him? I want to help. I want to be helpful. Maybe I'll get to hear her play sometime. Could be fun. Drinking bird. How can I help him? I want to help. Okay. Another issue of legendary monster hunter Thanor. Time to visit an old friend. Or should I say? An old enemy. 
You don't belong here, Monster Slayer. I'm not leaving here till I get answers. You won't be leaving at all. Now where's the Skyward? Fine, I'll tell you. The sword was last seen in the city of Can Carneris? But it's infected with weird spiders. And who quest for that sword lose something dear to them? But I'm destined to save the realm with the sword. Good thing you won't be questing alone. Elvin! That's cute. That is adorable. I wanted to help him, but I can't do anything? Um. Like, I, I can't really, like, find any thing. I've, I've clicked on everything. I'm lost. Okay, let's see. Haven's favorite and only choice for modern rock. Let's go. I'm glad Gabe convinced her to stay. She's so pretty. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? True. Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. LARPs. Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. Good idea. I like I it. Love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun? Defeating. Ooh. Lord of the Underworld. Stormwither, the undead. I like Lord of the Underworld, I think. I think that's cool. Cravius looks pretty badass. Go with that. <laughs> All right, then. I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. It'd be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. I wanna help this guy. Why can't I not help this guy? I feel helpless. <laughs> hey, uh, Haven listeners. That was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. We've got a sweet block of indie rock coming down the pike. But first, a few announcements. The spring... Oh... Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Oh, god damn it. Uh, the bard name, race, half elf. Ooh, I like that. I like elves. Uh, class bard, abilities, distortion field of healing serenade. I'm level one, I have 10 health points, and how did I meet? Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. That's fine. Bring your Ooh, Elvin. Bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different this time. Um, Alexandra Alto. Elvin was already a character in his thing, so I feel like it would be a bit mean to steal his name. Uh, I like Alto. Alto is a good name for a bard. Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun. But healing serenade could really come in handy. Yeah, I like healing serenade. Healing serenade it is. How did I meet Thanor? Heroic story. It was a dark and stormy night. This LARP thing just might work. It sounds so much fun. Can I read it and see what, like, I did? Thanor and I will make a great team. Okay, so it was a dark and stormy night, but that didn't stop the townsfolk from gathering to make merry in the amphitheater. Under the roof and with bare plenty, none noticed the beast lurking in the darkness. They didn't stand a chance. The beast attacked, killing all in its path. I fought bravely, but alas, I am a singer. 
not a fighter. Just as my strength failed, a brave warrior appeared. Thanor the Monster Slayer. Together we fought off the beast and saved the town. Can I help this guy? Or am I just like at a loss here? Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. It's hard to beat breakup music. But maybe I can find something around here to cheer him up. But I it won't let me. I I just wanna cheer up hoodie guy, excuse me, game. Game will not let me cheer up hoodie guy. So I guess I'm gonna leave because I've been recording for almost two hours now. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. I wonder what I could have done to help. Cheer up, hoodie guy. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Yes. Okay. Oh! I think he's just gonna love it. Thank you so much. Aw, that's so cute. Okay, my block. I wonder what stuff's working on. It looks cool. I should DM her to find out more so I can help. Uh, this didn't happen to have anything to do with your last foot, does it? Shoot, if there only was a way to find out all our final bite, whatever it is, it looks like gonna knock him dead. You hush. <laughs> I love her. Can I date her? Asking for a friend. Can I maybe, like, 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 you know, have a little romance with Steph? I, I don't get it. Do people just not want ice cream anymore? I looked over the budget. If we only open that to keep up a brave face for Angela. She loves our store so much. He must be exhausted. We're losing our business. But it's like, everything's a joke to him. She must feel so alone. Hope they figure it out. I hope so too. Or it's taste. Could be easy. Like peaches. I love ice cream. Even though I can't have ice cream 90% of the time because my favorite ice cream has dairy in it. <laughs> but sometimes it's worth it. Hello! Some pretty flowers. Is that for Gabe? Maybe? Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... I'm okay. I'm okay, I guess. Taking it one moment at a time. It's the best way to be. He seems so sweet. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Hmm. Now, what was I? Hmm. What? She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Yeah, we gotta help her. Can I, like, get the... He hello? There we go. What's up? Why is she so scared? Okay. Time to figure out why she's afraid. Cash. Register? All my memories are fading. I feel. I feel. Broken. Oh, 
is she oh what's it called like when you when you get old and you start forgetting things is that is that her issue oh no that's so sad the doctor said i had more time but everything is becoming so out of order so bad for her that has to be so scary oh no if they know if they about, my, about condition, my condition they'll make me close, make this, place. close this place I feel so bad for her like, that has to be one of the more terrifying things to happen. Like, just losing all your memories. Slowly but surely. Is there, like, another thing hiding somewhere? That I'm not aware of? Yes, there is. There's two, actually. If Riley, if Riley finds, finds out. out. She can't, she can't find, out. find out. What if she forgets Riley? Thank you, dear. I'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. Holy shit. Nightmare fuel. It's not just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Good question. How does she hide all of this? Forget what you were working on? <laughs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, I, I don't want to keep you. sweet soul hey I I want to help <laughs> my heart oh my heart my heart my okay heart. what would Eleanor have done first well first she would have probably turned the um the, the sign, I feel. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in. Then you open Then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. Register. You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. I would have done that last night. Okay, then second is this. Did you trim these flowers today? You don't have to do this. I'll be all right on my own. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Okay, so nothing in here is second, it looks like. 
So it, I think second has to be in the room then. One of these. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Was it Riley? Maybe we can find something to remind you. Was it Riley? I think it might have been Riley then. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Oh, goodness. What was the order for? Stop making me the flowers then. Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. Our shorter pay would check. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. Uh, the only thing I have left is the register. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. Should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan. Huh. Jed? Region of standing basket. $89 deal. Yeah. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. Now everything's back to normal. Let's go. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, Alex. You're a godsend. Sweetheart. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember. She doesn't remember! Oh, God! Uh, I feel like morally it's right to tell her because it will come out anyway. And she's gonna feel even more embarrassed. I like I I want to spare her pain as well, but ah, uh, uh, this is hard. I'm <sighs> okay. I'm gonna tell her because I think it's morally right. Because she's gonna know eventually anyway. They were... They were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? Gabe's wake? I... Missed it. Oh, I should have told her. I'm, I'm so sorry. I should have told her. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, that sucked. But at least I told her the truth. Fuck me. That poor young man. How did I forget? I'm so sorry, Eleanor. She's really hurting, but I didn't want to lie to her. No, I don't feel like it's right to lie anyway. 
I really feel like that's wrong. I hope it's good news. Important information. I don't feel like it would have been good to lie to her, in my opinion. I feel like that would have been way worse because she would have figured out any way later and then she would have probably been sad that we didn't say anything, so. Great things have small beginnings or something. But now we missed Mac. Gosh darn it. Now we gotta find Mac another way before he actually skips town because then we're fobbernuck. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? Maybe. Let's check our phone. It's uh, beeping. Uh, anyone have any good advice for taming stray cats? Found his cutie in my trash can with these crazy pets. No. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. I love that. Why? Oh. New face of the community. Jack Stevens will be taken over there in the restaurant next to the park. Oh, there's a new person. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. How's your progress in Moondrop Ranch? Did you buy your chicken coop? Oh, she she sent us a message. Alex, I'm sorry about before. I really did appreciate your help. It just hit me hard. Don't apologize. It's been hard for all of us. Yeah. Like, it's not her fault. Oh, I couldn't. I spent too much money romancing the lumberjack. Lumberjack. I can't believe you think I would like it. Um. Yeah, there he is. Here we go. He's anxious. I'm so fucked. Can't hide from me forever, Mac. Let's go. Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. What? Costing me my girlfriend wasn't enough for you? Now you're gonna accuse me of killing Gabe too? I get that you're afraid. I get it. He died on your shift, and you're freaked. But you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. You can't what, you douche canoe? Something definitely has him scared. If I could just push him over the edge. Mm. What Riley told me might do it. But I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. I'm ready. I, I did everything I could. Um, wait, wait, wait. There are a few things I want to do. Wait, 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 wait. Ryan! I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. Ryan. But where is Ryan? Uh, can I maybe call him? Can I call Ryan? Is that like a, like a possibility? I cannot. Uh, hmm. I don't know where he is. I didn't see him on the way down and I went into everything. So I guess Ryan just isn't an option. Hmm. Okay, this part might get cut out unless I find Ryan. So either I find Ryan or I'm back here, okay? I'm gonna look. <laughs> I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. Right. There is really any, not anything. So let's just confront him. I'm ready. Fuck. Here we go. Okay. Can't find Ryan. Let's do it. All right. Am I ready for this? I'm ready. Okay. Let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. 
That's not something innocent people do. Look at it. It's not... I didn't do anything. <sighs> Fuck off! Leave me alone! He's incredibly anxious. That's how he sees the world. Everyone's staring at him. Yeah, he's proper anxious. Deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Yeah, let's learn absolutely everything we can. Okay, so first of all, we got this. Captain's always watching. They run this whole town. Okay. I saw Mac run down that alley. So not that way. So the only things we can focus on is like these Max things. Max feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. Oh. He is feeling proper guilty. I have a feeling he didn't know that there is some someone else. It's not fair. I didn't do anything wrong. And then Riley. It should have been you instead. Alex? I don't think I they know did why it. you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. What the fuck? <sighs> I mean, if he had the power to press the button or not press the button, why did he press it? Like, it makes you guilty by charge, sadly, but... Um... You might not have been the reason he died. Yeah. But you covering for their fuck-up makes you guilty, too. He shouldn't be covering. You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Cave and I, we I didn't get along, it. but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer? My neighbors all hate me? I mean, what the, what, the, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? I mean, he's getting pressured from big higher ups. I feel like if we can get him on our side, uh, he can eventually like help testify against them. 
so I must say we're gonna try and calm him down. Because yes, he is guilty by charged. He tried to stop it, they detonated it anyway. But he tried, he at least tried. And he's feeling incredibly guilty against it. So maybe if we calm him down, he can get on our side and we can like go against Typhoon then. Typhoon, Ty Typhon, Typhon, I don't know. All right, Mac, come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? a little better <laughs> yeah well you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life <laughs> so what are you gonna do now help me testify don't leave haven i'm gonna get to the truth That has to be terrifying. Big corporations are terrifying, in my opinion. I'm gonna write it down. Oh, you can call somebody. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. And I'm curious, who did she call? Pretty. Is it Ryan? Yeah, it's Ryan. Good, I wanted to talk to him. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and... It doesn't matter! I keep coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. They were really best friends, huh? to look at, not gonna lie. It's freaking terrifying. <laughs> it was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. Eve, 
Harper? You saved Ethan. That kid is alive right now because of you. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. I know what it's like to feel worthless and helpless. But we saved Ethan. And you saved me. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Gabe loved you, Ryan. He would forgive you. You know that. You're not alone. gorilla suit <laughs> does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool no no he chases a guy in a banana suit that guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool okay, I'm, I'm sorry this is a mexican restaurant eh, nominally <laughs> <laughs> the food is uh well, terrible but it's gabe's favorite place <laughs> i tell you he's the oldest 12 year old i know <laughs> Can I ask you something? Sure, of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? Made him admit it? <laughs> There's something you should know about me. And it's gonna be easier to show you than to explain it. This is gonna seem sort of weird at first, then really weird. Do you trust me? Think of something sad, scary. Let's do scary because like sad is gonna be Gabe and it's gonna be a bit obvious. Uh, infuriating might also be, but scary could technically lean in at that. So let's try scary. Okay. Think of something that just scares the shit out of you. Really focus until you feel it. Mac, Typhon, all of it. You're afraid you won't know how to handle it without Gabe. Never knew anyone so good at getting into and out of trouble. <laughs> oh, man, this one time. <laughs> yellow! We haven't seen yellow! <laughs> Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> Yellow! 
What emotion is this? I think that's happy. <laughs> or joy. <laughs> How deep you think? <laughs> Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. Goose grave? The Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm no. sorry. How long were you gonna let me dig? <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna stop you. <laughs> so warm. Oh, that's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Oh! Shut up! It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. Did he accidentally what do we do? kill a goose? <laughs> Gabe, goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. <laughs> It'll move. Gabe! <laughs> oh, he dropped on a goose. <laughs> so, <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> How the fuck did you know? <laughs> How? I'm basically some kind of freak. That's what I would say to myself, at least. There's... Something wrong with the way I process other people's emotions. I see these auras, I guess. And sometimes, if somebody's feeling something big, it sort of infects me. And I start feeling it too. And that's what you just did with with me yeah there's nothing wrong with you you're a little wizard wizard it's it's only ever been the bad emotions before but that that was pure joy Who else knows? Gabe did? Gabe did. But now I guess just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So you're going after Typhon? Yes. You'll need help.
You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. <laughs> I like him. Give him a hug! You're welcome, I guess. Huggoos! I feel like she needed yeah. it. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you. I like hugs, okay? That's why I picked it. Because I like hugs. This one's for you, Gabe. Aww. I miss you. I didn't speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. I'm trying not to cry. It's very sweet and sad and just... Uh. is a bit sus, I'm not gonna lie. wrong with her I will let you fly I will say goodbye Ooh. that's chapter two okay so Alex come back down from his panic attack yeah I think everybody did that Eleanor forgot about Gabe's dead. Alex reminded Eleanor of what happened. Most people did that. That makes me feel a bit better about myself. I'm not gonna lie. I feel a tiny bit better about myself now. Uh, Charlotte signed a typhoon agreement. Uh, a few people agreed to that. I think, yeah, I think this is the morally right thing to do in the setting that Charlotte didn't. And there was a third one. Charlotte signed the agreement after Alex didn't visit her. So it was good we visited her. Okay. 
Uh, Alex enjoyed a quiet moment on the dock. Most people did that too. Alex tidied up the partner. Alex left the mess for later. So that was pretty split. And I think that is like... Also, like in reality, it is very split. Um, Alex put an album. Oh, most people did that, but it was very close to like people that didn't do anything. Uh, Alex left the heavy painted on a dartboard. Alex didn't look at the dartboard. Oh, I, oh, you, oh, I didn't know you could do anything with the dartboard. Oh shit. Uh, okay. Alex chose to go by Alexandra. Alex chose to go by Alta. Oh, most people chose Alvin. Oh, oh shit. Alex spent the moment thinking of Gabe. Yeah, most people did that. Understandably so. Uh, Alex backed Ryan's claim at the wake. Yes. Ah, oh, 40% didn't. Uh, Ryan accepted Alex's forgiveness. Ryan was able to give Alex offered Ryan's Gabe forgiveness. Yeah, I feel like it doesn't matter if like I forgive him or like your, yourself forgive them. I feel like it's better to hear if like the the person that happened to like they would have forgiven so they shared a hug ah oh, see most people shared a hug it's fine Steph claimed the title of the foosball champion most people did that too and it's either one because we all suck at foosball on the freaking keyboard or two we felt a bit bad and wanted her to have the win uh oh I am in the minority here ah most people chose the Storm Rider for the LARP boss. Okay. Uh, Alex helped the bird watcher find her hawk. Alex didn't help the bird watch. There was a bird watcher? Okay, I'm not the, the only one. I said the sad didn't find it. You, the, wait, somebody needed to find her dog? Oh god, I missed out on so much. Well, that was chapter two! Uh, tell me what do you guys think? Uh, what do you guys feel about it? How, how are you liking the series? I'm sorry that they're a bit longer, but like I said, that's how it is with these types of games. They are a bit longer, and I didn't want to split up the episodes, like the chapters, into like five videos and post every day for like two weeks. I would rather just have five longer episodes, because I think there's five chapters uh, that you guys can have on in the background on the days that I don't stream, and maybe you like just want to lurk in there and stuff because I know I personally watch videos while I eat and do stuff so you know I hope you guys enjoyed tell me what you guys think I'm so excited for chapter three uh have a beautiful night day night sleep whatever you guys are doing I love you all be nice to each other okay bye